everyone, James Charmack from Nerd Open J&J doing another toy hunt. Today we're going to hit Target in North Nashua. Haven't been here in a while, so we want to see what they have, what they don't have, whatever. Should be a lot of fun, so uh, stick around and uh, hope you guys enjoy the show. So starting off in Target as we usually do in the uh, adult collectibles area, and they usually have it pretty well stocked up compared to Walmart, obviously. A lot of NECA figures, of course. Pretty much NECA, really, but is what it is a lot of the horror figures obviously um, I wish that game would get back into the Godzilla but they probably obviously they won't it's gonna be Super 7 in the near future some more Godzilla figures nice uh, stocking up there fellas good job way to have pride in your trap make it nice and neat I'm sure you know it's, it's probably not their problem but still uh, some of the DCU figures are over here I don't know why because there's over in the regular toy aisle too but whatever is what it is uh some more of this stuff the funko pops you know i'm not into it i know a lot of people are as i keep saying every single time but you know whatever you want guys like it no complaints here uh regular toy out the action figure a lot of the shang chi figures pretty much that's it as we've seen in walmart pretty much a big roll of shang chi and frogman's on clearance already get rid of that guy We'll review him eventually. I don't know when, but we're moving on. A lot of empty space. I, you know, it's that time of year, I guess, right? Uh, but you know, it's always that year, right? Uh, moving on, Jurassic World. A lot of uh, empty pegs, but of course it is. Why wouldn't it be, right? Uh, you got that Nendry uh, Jeep two pack, that Hammond two pack. Uh, two different sizes of Indominus Rex. It looks like. I don't know. Some of the, the Disney toys rocking there, hanging out with some empty space. But of course there is some Minion figures. I don't know what's 20% off. Uh, moving on, Master of the Universe. Just he mask elsewhere, pretty much. Star Wars. Yeah, pretty much, you know, you what to see, what you get. Star Wars, does, you know, doesn't really bring in what it used to. Usually they just have a lot of Goku Groku, Grogu, blah, blah, blah. can't say his name. But, you know, looking in the WWE section, of course, there's a figure that don't belong. Might as well get that out of there, I guess. Another big giant Grogu, some more Funko Pops going on. This, I don't understand. You have a mask for the anonymous, you know, Guy Fox slash anonymous hacking group. I don't get it. That confuses me. Uh, who knows? But anyways, moving on. This is the somewhat other collectibles. A lot of empty space, of course. You know, that's the way it is in Nashua. DC multiverse figures. Like I said, you know, you have a whole bunch more over here. Some of the ones you've seen over in the other section. They keep them to build the figures separate. They charge a little bit more than the other figures. I don't know why, but whatever. Down to the prices, some more of the DC stuff. Transformers. Have a few, a few more than Walmart, it looks like. Um, moving on. Some of the kid uh, Marvel figures. I, f I didn't film, you know, I didn't do a continuous video because, you know, someone was in a way, more or less. Uh, Legos, Legos, more Legos. Lego Isle, or, you know, the gen Ninjago figures. I know there was another video I had filmed, but it, I don't know where it went off to. It must have, you know, not filmed. But, you know, it had some more of the Marvel and DC uh, Lego figures. That's a bit pricey, isn't it? But, you know, at least it looks like a model, model more or less. That's pretty cool. Uh, so we're going to end up with the uh, Lego art pieces. So, what did I pick up? Let's take a look at the haul and see. Okay, so we bought the uh, red and blue Superman uh, McFarlane Toys Justice League figure and the uh, Batman Long Halloween Part 1, which I'm waiting for the deluxe version, but you know, it is what it is. This one's going to be PG-13, Part 2 is going to be now rated R. So, get my hand out of the way. Didn't really find much on this hunt, but it is what it is. That's how it goes usually on these things, so as, you know, normal, but it is what it is. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for dealing with all the uh, empty pegs. Sorry about the shaky cam. Try not to do that. But anyways, if you guys like this content, give me a like. I appreciate it. 
If you want to see more toy hunts, maybe we'll try to find something in the near future. Who knows? Give me a like on whatever. Uh, let me know you like these. Give me a subscription, subscribe, whatever. I'm on Patreon, so if you want to you know, hit me up there, I appreciate that. Anyways, my name is James Sharmack. This has been the Nerd Room with J&J. &J. And until next time, as always, keep on collecting happy hunting.